Hello everyone. Now in this video, we will um, have a look at uh, the process of adding the uh, PIOS uh, router and switches in EVNG. Uh, these are called the viral uh, images and um, these basically require a lot of uh, resource uh, compared to the Dynamips routers. But uh, if some of the features are not working on the uh, L2 and L3 of the Dynamips, then obviously this is the uh, option that you have to look for. Now, um, I will just log into the GUI of uh, my Eve with the admin and Eve uh, password. And if I right click, now, if you want to add a new uh, lab, I can just close the lab and let's add a new lab. Let's say this is my VIOS lab. Okay. Now, right click and node. And if you see here, now you don't see the um, Cisco VIOS here. So, if I type VIOS, so the router and the switch both are grayed out. So, these two are the images that we have to add. Now, to add this, I have created a document um, now you can go up here and you have the uh, link for both the images here uh, you can directly click here and download the images or else let's go through the whole document okay how to add this so this is a step-by-step -step procedure to add the Cisco viral VIOS to your EVNG box and now first thing first you need to download the Cisco viral uh, VIOS QCOW2 uh, create the Cisco Viral VIOS directory in EVNG using the WinSCP and FileZilla to upload the Cisco VIOS uh, image to Eve. Now, as you, you have seen, we use the WinSCP um, to upload the images to EVNG. We'll use the same here and then you need the permission command. And then obviously you need to add this to the uh, uh, I mean, th to the lab in inside EVNG. Now, here also I have put the links to download the images. So let's start with the uh, viral uh, router. Just click on this download link here. It'll take you here. Now, download this. And you can just say download anyway. And this is around 1 and 12 um, MBs. So this is just the QCOW2 file. Now, uh, in order to understand the naming convention, this which is very important in EVNG, we can go to the EVNG website here. EVNG download website here. And what we can do is to understand the naming because this, this is very important. So if you go to the documentation section here and then you go to the naming, QMU image naming here and you should scroll down and you should understand the proper uh, folder name. So if you just go here, this is the folder name it should be like, it is the vendor and the name, uh, image name under the in, inside the folder. So if you go and look at the Cisco VIOS image, this is this one. So we are growing uh, L3, so we I have to start with this. And after hyphen, I can give anything. So um, let's go to the uh, uh, WinSCP. I have already been CP'd into my uh, system of uh, the EVNG. Now inside the um, this, uh, folder of uh, path of op opt unilab add-on schema i have to right click and again add a new uh, directory which starts with the name this and say this is my uh, router okay you can say anything here it's not just this i can say l3 something like that but it should start with vios then hyphen and okay now uh, once that is done i need to go to my downloads folder um which should be this one already i'm in so this one, and I should have the image here, uh, which is the virtual cook file. So if I go here and open folder, <clears throat> so I have the virtual file here. So I need to go and check. It should be the same virtual.ukl. So you don't need to change the name of the file, just the folder you need to uh, rename. So I just go and hit on virtual, and this is the file which I downloaded uh, today. Yeah. So let's go and put it inside this folder i will drag and drop this now after this is done i have to go here and obviously put in the same command like this and also up arrow one more time so two times done now that is the l3 uh, router so i can go to my um uh what do you say the evng here now i'll just refresh this once more time and i should see my vios if i try vios so now the router is highlighted because I added the router and that is the name and save. Now I'll just right click and start the node. And this is started. 
Now double click open. Sometimes what happens, you start the node and it, it um, I mean, automatically shuts down. So you have to make sure the naming and the and the file name is correct according to the naming convention specified by the EVNG in the in the website, right? In the naming section. So this is your L3. So you can just go on and stop it or name this differently. It's fine. It's it's named as VIOS. So that is fine. So it is running on 15.6. Uh, let's give some time for this to run. But yeah, these would need more resources compared to the Dynamips. Now let's go and add the other file, which is the um, L2. So I'll download the L2 from here. Click on this. Um, this is taking me here. Right click and download. And now let's go to the image. So this should start with BIOS L2 and um, inside the file it's fine so i will again go to my win cp right click um, then i'll add a new directory like this l2 and say switch s w i c -H, switch right and okay so that's said and done now i'm inside switch i should have the um, so this is being downloaded so you see because i already had the virtual.qcow2 file now it has been named as virtual one dot q so you need to be uh, sure about this so if i go here i should see this one now this is the latest one that i downloaded i will just drag and drop here and make sure you uh, edit the name of this file again uh, inside that vios l2 folder so like this right that's done now i will go again back to my cli and up arrow key and i will enter this command twice okay that's done now i will go to the evng back and i will uh, refresh this one more time and if i see here i will hit no here and this is my router basically now i will add on the vios now you can see switch is also highlighted click on that save and done now i have my l3 switch as well i will start and i'll double click to open it in my putty so I can see now my switch is also getting booted. Now let's into the uh, look into the router. Yeah, this is being started and um, enable. You can say show version, show version, and um, yeah, this is 15.6 as we saw earlier, and show IP interface. If this has, I think, gigabit Ethernet. Yeah, um, the one in the Dynamics have Ethernet, or you can add GEs also. So yeah, so this is the uh, router running successfully. Now we can go and wait for the switch also. So this will be also uh, successfully running. So this is how basically you add the VIOS viral images inside the EVNG. Mm, and, and this is the mo most stable um, Cisco images over there to virtualize or to practice L2 and L3 uh, features on, on, on the inside your lab, right? So let me click here now it's the switch enable you can check the show version here and the second 15.2 um and show vlan um okay i think there should be a brief command here um this is there you can have show vlan summary here you can have show um interface uh status so these are the commands that are um oh, i mean um usually seen in the l2 switches uh, so that's how you add the viral images, Cisco uh, routers and switches inside EVNG. Uh, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.